Well, hi, y'all. It's Trixie. I'm talking to a lottery scammer from Jamaica today. I'm going to pretend to be a victim named Linda Marion, a retiree who lives at a fake address in the village's neighborhood of Lady Lake, Florida, to see how he tries to scam me. My first call with the scammer was the usual call telling me about my prize. He said I needed to pay $1,000 to claim my $19.5 million, and he sent me to the store for money pack gift cards. Unfortunately, the audio on his end contains so much of an echo, too much for me to fix. So we are going to jump right in to the second call when I return from the store with the gift cards. The first part you'll hear is the robocall the scammer sent out to lure victims in. Then my call. Let's go. The Gaming Commission is pleased to officially announce you has the first place winner in the 100 million Golden Harbor Sweepstakes giveaway sponsored by Publishers Clearing House, Reader's Digest Sweepstakes, Powerball Sweepstakes, American Cash Award Sweepstakes, Mega Millions Sweepstakes, and the Multi State Lottery Association has the first place winner. You will be awarded with a total cash price of $19,500,000. Congratulations, the Gaming Commission has made all the necessary arrangements in order for you to receive your prize. Your funds are currently been held at the Federal Reserve Bank of New York. For further information, call us at 6 Sweepstakes for dreams come to reality. Continue looking out for a call of notice. You're a winner of the sweepstakes. God bless America and all winners and player of our monthly sweepstakes. Continue subscribe to and begin our sweepstakes monthly. Please note U.S. federal laws required prize information or kept strictly confidential. To speak with an agent press 1. Our call. 6. 6. 7. God bless all winners and players. Continue play to win big in cash and prizes. Thank you for calling the Emergency Department. This is Robert. Oh, hello. Is this uh, Mr. Sanchez? Yes. Ah, oh, this is Linda Marion. I just got home. What? Yes. Okay, and what happened? Well, I went to the store and I got the two cards. And I'm home. And uh, you said they were going to be here between 3.30 and, and what time? And 6. Oh, good. Well, I just got home, so I, I hurried back, and and um, so I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready, I'm ready. Okay, what I want for you to do, the, the two cards, where are they at this moment? Uh, Right here. Uh. With me in my purse. And are they, are they scratch off cards? Uh, yes, I had the I had the lady at the store help me find them. Okay, and um, is this your home phone or cell phone? Uh, this is a home phone. Okay, you don't have a cell phone. Uh, no. Okay, all right, no problem. Um, what I want for you to do, I want for you to scratch off one of one of those cards. Scratch off the five hundred dollar card. Scratch it off. Why? Yes, I'm gonna be needing to put some sequins in the computer so that we can have the delivery team and all everything to be registered under your paperwork. So when you take your check to your bank, everything can be aligned under the governmental system because we need to have your cashier's check stamped and approved. So I'm going to need some information. I'm going to provide to you with some information also. So just scratch the $500 card. Sequins? You mean like on a lady's dress? No, no, no. Okay, I mean like on the computer. Sequins on the computer? 
Yes. So get the card in your hand, and I want for you to scratch the five hundred dollar card. Oh well, no, I'm not going to scratch it off. What do you mean? Well, if I scratch it off, then when you get here, uh, it won't be any good anymore. You said it needs to go with my package. Yeah, right? it's, 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 it will still be good. It will still be good. What can happen? You just purchased it not even 24 hours ago. Oh, well, uh, hold on. Let me get it out. Um, okay. Uh, well, on the back of my card that I got, it says um, in a red section, beware of scams asking for payment yes. money pack. Correct. Yes, you should see that on the back of the card. Yes, yes I do. You should see that. And that means, okay, all right. So scratch it off now and tell me the numbers that you see there. Well, it says money pack cannot be used for payments like taxes, bills, loans, warrants, or bail. Once money pack is used, funds cannot be refunded. I think I better wait till you get here. This sounds like it could be important to wait. Plus, it says I can't pay taxes. No, no, remember, you need to have them. Remember, this is not taxes. You're going to pay the taxes after your money has been released to you. Okay, so you're going to be paying the taxes after the money has been released to you. This is not taxes, and you're not paying to receive a delivery. Okay, well, is, we just have to make sure that your and everything within our system has been aligned in the governmental system. So when you deposit your check to your bank, you can start spending your money and you can go along with your way without you or us ending up in court for this unproper documented delivery. So we're going to have to make sure that your check has been properly stamped and approved by the governmentary officials and also by the FDIC. So when you take your check and deposit this, you can have no problems whatsoever with your bank to start spending your money however you like, whenever you like. Oh, well, that sounds great. But I'm not scratching this card off. I'll scratch it off when you get here, though. No, no, no. You're going to need to scratch up one of the cards. That's the card for 500. And tell me some numbers so I can punch this in our system to get the check stamped and approved. Uh, no, no. It says right out here. It's Remember, you've already the done the hard part. You've already done the hard part and the hard work. All we're going to be needing now is just for you to keep on following the instructions. Just to scratch out this number so I can put this in the system and actually have everything registered in our system so we can have the delivery done for you right now, today. Are you a real person? What? Are you a real person? What what person? Well, it sounds like you might be one of those AI robots. Oh, I sound like a robot to you? Well, I'm just wondering. Is that, you oh. sound like a robot. Like you might be one of those AI robots I keep hearing about. <laughs> How can I sound like a robot? Well, I don't know. Even when you laughed, it didn't sound real. How can I know you're a real person? <laughs> oh, my goodness. How am I going to know? No, 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 no. Um, let me think about that. Can you sing? 
you'd like for me to sing? I think that'll let me know that you're not a robot. Okay. Is that so? Can robots sing? I don't think they can. <laughs> okay, well. All right, what do you want me to sing for you? Let me sing the National Anthem. Oh, that'd be terrific. Okay. Say, can you see by the dawn's early light what the brown Louis is at the twilight that's gleaming? You hear me sing? Uh, yes, keep going. Well, I don't have time to be singing songs and playing games. I need to have your delivery done. So when I get there today, I can sing the national anthem for you, and you can see that I'm real. Okay, that'll be fine. All right, what time are you going to be here? Okay, well, we want to get there as early as possible before the bank is closed. Okay. So what time will your bank close today? Probably 5 o'clock. So let me go ahead and get off the phone. Okay, I'll so get ready. Get I'll see you about 5 o'clock or 4.30. Okay, or so give me the number from the card. Oh, no. i got to wait till you get here. Did you get in there? No. You have to give me the number now. Oh, no. No, no, no. You didn't even sing the whole national anthem. Any robot could have done that. No, no. What do you thank me for? I don't have time to be playing your game. I just need to have your delivery done. Okay? Okay. So, what are you going to do? Are you going to give me the number? Oh, no. No. Okay. Well, you just sit and wait for your delivery. Are you a scared? Ah, he hung up. Let's call him back. Thank you for calling Claimer's apartment. Are you done? Are you trying to trick me? Just Mary? But no, my name is okay. Linda Mary, you not Mary. Name? What? Yes, why did you hang the phone up? Why did you hang the phone up? I didn't. Yeah, I think you did. No, why would I? That would be so unprofessional. Okay, now, do you have the card in, in front of you? Uh, yes, I do. Okay, can you scratch it off? Uh, no, I want to wait till you get here. I think you might be a scammer. Linda, I'm not here to waste your time, and I'm not here to run you around in circles. So if this is how we're going to do things, well, I suggest there's no way we can have a delivery to be done without you giving me some information from that card. And if I don't have these information... There's no way we can actually have your check to be delivered in your bank. You can only... Would you like for us to meet at the bank? Yes, that'd be delightful. But if we meet at the bank and you don't give me the numbers right now, I'm afraid that if our delivery team leaves the bank without you getting your cashier's check, uh, this could be actually delivered to to you maybe even next year or even actually be turned over through the charity. So this is going to be your call on what you would like to do because I'm not here to try to play you any games out of 500 or 700 or 100 or 1,000 or whatever. I just need to do my job 
and I need to do my job just as I do it every day. And within this is by making the American citizens proud, living their dream life that every American citizen dream of. So if you feel like I'm here to try to run you around or to play any games, you can just hang up your phone and you can go your way and I can go my way and continue to do my job. But if you want really want to receive this prize, Linda, you will do the just as I state to you and give me these informations in which I required so we can have things done for you today. What? Okay. What did you say? Okay. What is it that you're going to do? What is it that you're going to do? I'm going to get my prize when it gets delivered. Okay. All right. So that means you're going to follow the instructions that I'm providing for you right now. So I'm going to need for you to scratch the $500 card and give me the number. You're going to give to me right now as I speak. You're going to give to me the first seven numbers first. Thing. What's the first seven numbers? Albert, I think you're a scammer. Only, only scammers can okay, well, you know, scratch the card numbers off gift cards. Okay, well, it seems as if we're not getting anywhere. Yeah. So if we're not going to get anywhere... Um, it would be best for us both to go our separate ways, and I wish you all the best on your future endeavors. Okay? Have a wonderful day, Linda. It was a pleasure talking to you. Al, listen, Robert. 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 Why do you why do you try to risk? Why do you I'm try here. to steal people? Why are you trying to steal from people? Listen, I don't have time to waste. I have my job to get done. So if you don't want to receive your prize, you don't accuse me of doing something that you know nothing about. Okay? I do think I know something about it. I think you're trying to steal from me. Okay. Well, what a low life I would be to try to rip you out of $750. What can that really do for me or my family? I can't even pay my rent. So what kind of low life would I be to try to rip you out of $750? Listen, Linda, I'm not here to waste your time or to waste my time. I have a very, very packed schedule here, and I need to get things done. So if we're not going to get your delivery done, there are other work that I need to get done today and I'm not I'm trying to assist you with my utmost best of ability so I'm not sure what to do at this moment but this seems as if we're not getting anywhere at this moment it seems as if we're stuck at Niagara Falls at this moment we can't cross the border so if we're not going to be crossing the border at this moment this makes no sense for us to actually continue this conversation here. It would be best for us to go our separate ways if you don't want to receive your prize delivery. Okay? Oh, but I do want to, if it's real. Okay, well, if you want to receive your prize, then you must go ahead and give to me those numbers so I can have it processed in the system. All right, let me jump right in here. I am going to pretend like another scammer called me and is trying to steal his victim. This actually happens sometimes. There's not much honor among thieves. Let's go. Thank you for calling Claimer's Department. This is Robert. Oh, hello, Mr. Sanchez. How are you? This is Linda Marion. Yes, Linda. I'm doing wonderful. How are you? Oh, good. Uh, uh, are they still going to be here by 4.30? Because it's 4.21 now. 
But we can be there, Linda. You definitely give me the information from the card so we can be there. Yeah, I got a call from the delivery the the the, the delivery team, the delivery driver. Okay. And what happened? Well he said they were gonna deliver my prize today. And I told him I knew that. Okay. Okay, so provide to me with the number so we can have the delivery done. Oh, well, he, I gave it to him. He said he was the one that needed it because he was the delivery driver. Okay, okay, give it to me now. I already gave it to him. I still need the number, Linda, okay? I still need it. So find the information and give it to me. You hear me? What? I still need the information, so try and find it. I gave it to Mr. Uh... Uh, what's his name? Sawyer. Sayer. Sawyer. Okay, give it to me. Give it to me. All uh, right, give it to me now. But he said he was the one to take it. Yes, but give it to me, Linda. I still need the information, okay? But he said he was going to give it to you. No, give, it, give to it to me. me. I, I still need the information. Is it? I've. Linda, are you playing any games? I don't have time to play games. All right, if you're not going to give me the information, just need no second. I think somebody's playing a game with me. Okay. Are you going to give me the information or not? Yes. So go well, ahead and give I, me the information. Why did I give it to him and you don't know it? I told you before when you contacted me to give me the information, but you chose to give someone else. Find the information and give it to me. I don't understand why you don't already have it. Who did I give it to? And uh, I need it. Listen, I need the information now. Are you going to find it and give it to me now? I have things to do. I don't intend to waste my time. Was he real? Hello? I don't know who you are talking to. I don't know who you are talking to. I don't know who you are talking to. Are you trying to play games with me? real. At what number? What number did he call you at? It said unknown on it. He mm-hmm. said he was calling from a um, roaming satellite phone. Oh, I think they were lying. Lying about what? I gave him the numbers. Are you saying so that why can't, can't you give, give me the numbers? Well, I'll give you the numbers too, I guess. I just don't understand why he didn't give it to you. So give me the numbers. Give it to me. Okay. So this is the number off the, the $500 one. It's five. Seven, five, four, nine, one, three. Hold on, let me repeat it. Five, seven, five, seven one, 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 nine, five, three. Yes. 
Okay, and what's the other number? Well, can you please verify that one first? I'm worried. Five seven two one six seven one one nine five four nine one three. Yes. And what's the next number? You're making me. You're making me very nervous. It's uh, give me zero. the next number. Didn't he? Zero. What? 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 Zero nine one five six three eight six eight nine seven seven four four. Go repeat, repeat that, repeat that for me. Start zero, over. Uh, zero nine one five six three eight six eight nine seven seven four four. Okay. Okay, and this is the one for two fifty. That's right. And you gave these numbers away how long ago? Um, he called me about, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes ago. Okay. 15 or 20 minutes ago. Okay. He said they'd be right uh, over, but I haven't seen anybody yet. Okay. All right. Hold the line for me. Hold the line. Okay. Let me check out something. All right. All right. That's fine. Hello? Yes, I'm here. Hello? Hello? Okay, Linda. Yes, I'm trying. And I was speaking with my manager, and now uh, we don't have a delivery agent by the name of Mr. Sawyer. So uh, I didn't, I don't know if you really speak with a Mr. Sawyer, because we don't have our delivery team by the name of Mr. Sawyer at this moment. We only have David, and we only have Mary. And also, from what I could see here... His name was David. Pardon? His name was David. David. David what? Sawyer. David Sawyer? Yes. Oh, well, we don't, we don't have any... We don't have any David Sawyer at this moment for our delivery truck driver. We only have David Oscar. Oh, no, I talked to David Sawyer, uh, Sayer, something like that. Well, no one at our company by that name. We only have, we only have David Oscar to deliver well, your prize yeah, at least. And maybe I've got the name wrong. I thought that's what he said, though. But it has to be him because he knew oh. I won. He knew that you had won. Yes, so it has to be. So it has to be him. I mean, I just might have the name wrong. So why didn't you want to give me the numbers from earlier? Well, I didn't want to give him the numbers either. But you end up giving them, right? Well, it says right on the back of the card not to give them out. And this is not a cell phone, right? This is my house phone. And you don't have a cell phone? No. 
Oh, so you can't receive text messages? No, I cannot. Okay, all right. All right, um, what are you going to do? You stated that the bank will be closing at 5? Um, yes. I use online banking, though. Is there something I need to do? You do online banking? Yes. Which bank do you do business with? Uh, Bank of America. And is that the only bank you do business with? Um, I have an account at Wells Fargo, too. Okay. So you only do business with two banks, Bank of America and the Wells Fargo. And yeah. how long have you been doing business with Bank of America? Oh, a long time, many years. Okay, and what about the Wells Fargo? Um, about uh, about ten years. About ten years. Okay, okay. And um, what I could see here has any one of your accounts been over ten thousand in the last three months? Yes. Okay, and which one is that? Well, they're all over 10000 What do you mean? Oh, both of them is over 10000 Yes. Mm. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Just hold the line for me. Hold the line. Okay. Oh, my. Okay. And do you want us to have the money just transferred directly to your bank? Uh, no. No. I just want a check. Okay. You just want the check. Okay. Okay, well, the numbers that you actually sent to us, you sent them to the wrong person. Well, I gave them to you, too, so it doesn't really matter, I guess. Yeah, but you have them. It does matter right now, because what happened is that you gave them to the wrong person at first, and I told you to give me the number earlier. So what's going to happen now? How far are you away from the CVS? Well, I'm I'm, I'm pretty close, but what do you mean? What difference does it make now? You've got them. What? I don't understand what difference it makes. It's just a registration number. What difference does it make? Yes, it makes a difference because because it had to be entered in our system first, but you sent them to the wrongful person. It seems like you sent them to the crook. But if he's not, if he's not one of your employees, how could he enter them in your system? So you've got them, and you can enter them in the system. Okay, he entered them in a different system. Remember, they they warned you on the on the card for scammers. Remember that it's on the card for scammers. And scammers yeah. trying to pretend with those cards, right? So you give one of those cameras who acted in our system and steal some information out of our database. You you gave that card to one of those crooks. That crook, you gave the card to one of those crooks, and I'm going to try my utmost best. If he calls you back, try to get a phone number for him, because I, I'm going to make that, that guy rotten in prison. He deserves to be rotten in prison. So, you, do you I think still have the call cards. Back? I still have the cards. Okay, you still have the cards. All right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to let the guys come over and meet you. You're going to have to purchase one more new card. You're going to have to purchase a new card. 
One more. Only one more. Giving, one new card. I'm not card. giving anybody the number off that card. I've learned my lesson now. Keep me on the phone. Don't hang this phone up. Just go ahead and get it done and come back and just pick up this phone and say hello. No, you know what? I've, I'm not buying another card. I bought the two cards. You said two cards was enough. I bought them. I gave you the numbers off of them. I did everything you said. Okay. Well, what I'm going to do, then I'm going to let you speak with my manager. Well, that's fine. Do you want to speak with my manager? If, if, you, if, I, if you want me to, I don't know. I just okay. said you'd be because here by this 4.30. Needs, this needs to get done. This needs to get done, and this needs to get done right away. Okay. Well, it's not my job to do it. I'm oh, the one. What you messed up? You messed up. Okay, you were no, the one I who did messed not. up. I did not. Yes, you were. I gave. Why you don't the you take numbers. responsibility? I gave you the card number. Yes, just yes like but not before. before. Yes, you gave me the numbers, but not before you gave it to someone else. But he said he was the delivery driver. Okay, he said he was the delivery driver, but you didn't want to give me the, the the information, and I was the one who told you to go ahead and get the card. And you were trying all these sort of games with me. So you, as you could see there, you were the only one who had things messed up, and it could have only been you who had messed things up because you should have called me back you should have called me back before you gave that guy the number to verify if we had our delivery team on the way. So you were the one that messed this up, not me, no, you. James, and you should be held accountable. James. You should be held accountable for what you have done. Games, I was just trying to be safe. You should encourage people to be safe, not call it playing games. What kind of idiot are you? Well, clearly, clearly the one who didn't get the money to be delivered to you today. Because clearly, this idiot wasn't the one who gave away the information. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Are you saying you tried to cash? That gift card and keep the money for yourself? How would I? How would I do that? How? Why would I do that? I'm talking about your money, your money. I'm talking about your money. This nineteen million five hundred thousand that we're going to have delivered to you. That's what I'm talking about. What are you talking about? Well, if you didn't try to cash it, what then then why are, why are you saying the numbers aren't any good? Then what makes the numbers not good? Oh. Well, we have to put it in our system and it's for it to show success. What makes the numbers not good? Listen, you're trying to play some games. And I'm not playing any game. Okay? So but are you trying to be safe? You're calling it games? Well, you're playing games with me. And I'm not playing any games with you. So I suggest you find the next person. Okay? You can move well, on. I just saw your and sound professional and you sound like kind of like an idiot. Honestly, I'm starting to think he's the real one and you're the fake one. Yeah, well, well, apparently I am that. Apparently I something, am. Something definitely is going on here that's wrong. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Mm hmm Wrong, wrong, wrong. And that's what you did. You did something wrong, 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 giving away those numbers. So you're on your own. 
If you're not buying the next card, you're on your own. What do you mean I'm on my own? You can go to, You can speak with Mr. Sawyers if you're not going to purchase the card. You just told me he was fake. Yes, you just told me he was fake, and you can continue to speak with the fake if you don't want to speak with me. Are you saying he he voided my cards or something? But you know exactly what happened. No, I don't. Well, uh, that's what happened. What happened? Well, he hung up. He's done with me. He thinks I gave his money to someone else, and he knows I'm a lost cause now. It's time to turn his phone number loose to other scam baiters and report it. He'll have a miserable rest of his day, or two days. Depends how long it takes the carrier to shut down his number. All right. See you next time. Thank you so much, everyone, for all you do, your likes, your comments, your shares, subscribing, joining my channel, everything you do that helps me succeed on YouTube. I appreciate it. Love you all. Bye-bye.